In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how much you can earn while on Social Security in 2024. That's the focus of this video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, now in this video, I do have five categories I'm going to be sharing with you, including Social Security Retirement and Disability, SSDI. There's these five categories and very specific dollar amounts that I'm going to be sharing with you because this all pertains to this year, 2024. Now remember, these thresholds I'm going to be sharing with you here in this video do change every single year. They were different last year, 2023, and next year, 2025, they will be changing yet again. So this is just in effect for this year, 2024, all the way through December 31st, but you need to know these numbers. If you have any type of earnings, any type of income for this year, 2024, you'll probably want to take this into consideration because if you exceed these levels, depending on the type of benefit that you're receiving, then your benefits may be garnished, and that would not be a good situation. We want to avoid that in any way that we possibly can, but at the same time, we also want to maximize our monthly income and maximize our lifetime earnings. So again, hopefully this video will help you out. I got a bunch of numbers here for you. So again, stick with me and uh, I'll walk you through the details, which by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far or any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel that I have for you, make sure to subscribe down below. I'm here for you every single day, no matter what, bringing all the latest details, answering questions for you and doing whatever I can to keep you updated on Social Security and of course, anything that may be popping up for money, extra benefits, raises to benefits or anything else other right now that you can grab as a fixed income beneficiary. I truly want to help you out. It's a rough time out there financially for a lot of people and uh, want to do what I can for you. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so. Let's talk through the details. All right, so you got to know which category you fall into here because like I said, the numbers are very, very, very different, okay? So I'm going to first start out by talking about Social Security retirement. There's three categories here and then we're going to talk about SSDI. There's two categories there, okay? Dollar amounts are very different for all of them. All right, so let's buzz through the details here. All right, so if you are somebody who has filed for your Social Security retirement benefit prior to your full retirement age and you are not going going to be achieving your full retirement age this year in 2024, this is the first category for you, okay? So you can have income aside from your Social Security retirement benefit. However, it's not that much. You can earn up to a maximum of $22,320 for the entire year, which averages out to $1,860 a month if you fall into this category. Now, you can certainly earn over that threshold. If you'd like to, by all means, go for it. If you want to earn over that threshold, you can. There's no law that says you cannot do it. You absolutely can if you want to. However, take into consideration this. For every $1 that you earn over that threshold, the $22,320 for the entire year, again, averaging out to $1,860 a month, for every $1 you earn over that threshold, they're going to garnish your Social Security benefit by $1, okay? Uh, so every, sorry, I think I said it wrong. There's, I apologize. Let me say this again. For every $2 that you earn over that limit, they're going to garnish your benefit by $1. Sorry, I think I said that wrong there, okay? Again, sorry. $2 over the limit, they garnish $1 of your benefit. Got that? All right, okay. So that is category number one. Now, next, category number two. This is for those of you that are going to be achieving your full retirement age this year, okay? If that is the case, you're going to be hitting your full retirement age this year for 2024. You also have an earnings threshold. However, it's significantly more than the last category I just talked about. You can earn up to $59,000, well, sorry, $59,520 in the months leading up to your full retirement age month, okay? So whatever month that you're going to be hitting your full retirement age, you can earn up to that, $59,520 up to that month, and then once you hit your full retirement age, you're fine. You have nothing else to worry about at that point, okay? So that's a lot of money. It's nearly triple what it is for the first category of people that I talked about there who have already uh, claimed their benefit prior to the full retirement age. Now, again, you can certainly earn over the 59,520 uh, threshold if you'd like to, but take this into consideration. For every one sorry, for every $3 that you earn over that limit, they're going to garnish your benefit by $1, okay? So... That's what it comes down to. Again, the garnishment on these benefits are not nearly as steep, but it's still a garnishment. We don't want to take any garnishments to benefits. So again, for every $3 that you earn over the limit, they will garnish your benefit by $1, okay? So again, let's take that into consideration. You can earn whatever you want, but just remember all that, okay? Now next, if you have come into... 
2024 already at your full retirement age, okay? So if you already entered in 2024, you came in sailing through at your full retirement age, your income threshold is unlimited. You can earn as much as you want. Does not matter. There's no income threshold. Once you're at your full retirement age, you can earn as little or as much as you want. No problem whatsoever there, okay? All right, so that is Social Security Retirement Benefits. Now, let's talk about SSDI, okay? Social Security Disability. Now, one quick other thing I wanna point out really fast, this applies to retirement and it replies to disability benefits as well. They're talking about gross income, okay? Gross being the big number at the top of your pay stub before any deductions are taken out of your check, okay? Whether you are you know, part-time, you're full-time, you're W-2, maybe you're a 1099 uh, person, maybe you have a side hustle, a small business, whatever it happens to be. However you receive income, it's total income prior to deductions, okay? Gross income, not net income. Those are very, very different numbers. This is all based on gross income, okay? Just take that into consideration. Again, that applies for retirement and SSDI benefits. All right, so now let's talk about SSDI beneficiaries. There's about 9 million SSI, uh, sorry, SSDI beneficiaries across the country, and these are the ones that I wanna talk about now. Okay, so there's two categories yet again. Comes down to blind and non-blind SSDI beneficiaries. You gotta know which category you fall into because here's the thing. What they determine as SGA, substantial gainful activity, is very different for these two categories of SSDI beneficiaries. Let's just say this much. If you're receiving an SSDI benefit because of something to do with your vision, low vision, blindness, vision loss, visual impairment, um, you know, something like that, then you're getting SSDI because of your, uh, you know, blindness, okay? However, if you're getting SSDI, disability benefits, because of something else, then you would be in the non-blind category, okay? You gotta know which one you're in. All right, so here's what it comes down to. You can receive, or you can earn, uh, you can have earnings above and beyond your monthly benefit of $1,550 per month as a non-blind SSDI beneficiary. That is what Social Security determines as SGA, substantial gainful activity. Any income above that, be, uh, above that threshold, you may be losing your benefits for that period of time. Not a good situation, right? We don't want to lose benefits. Now next, if you are a blind SSDI beneficiary, you can have income up to $2,590 per month. Again, gross income as a SSDI blind beneficiary. And uh, that's what you can have is that is what they have determined as SGA, substantial gainful activity for blind SSDI beneficiaries. So these are the thresholds that I wanted to share with you. Now, really quickly, best practices. If you are currently working, you're going to start working, you're working more, you're changing jobs, picking up hours, uh, starting a side hustle, whatever it happens to be, anything that may produce income, I would say best practices would be call Social Security, tell them your intentions. It's okay. They're not going to be mad at, uh, mad at you. You're not going to be in trouble. They're not going to send you, you know, to detention, <laughs> stuff like this. It is totally fine, but they will walk you through the details. They will help you maximize your income and make sure that you do not uh, go through any garnishment to your benefit. However, if you exceed the thresholds here that I gave you throughout, throughout this video, you better believe your benefits will be garnished at some degree, okay? And depends on what happens, you may even be losing your monthly benefit if it happens too long and too much. And, you know, there's a whole variety of factors, but just take all that into consideration. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you, how much you can earn uh, while on Social Security in 2024 for these beneficiaries. So if you have any questions, as always, please stick those down below in the comment section. Uh, let me know what I can do for you. If I need to come back and make another dedicated or follow-up video to this, I can certainly do that for you. Otherwise, I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. As always, subscribe down below, totally free to do so. Share the video with your friends on my social media. There's a big share button down there uh, below the video as well. And always go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including the thousands in the video library or those that I've hand-selected for you down below in the description or at the the top of the comment section. And until next time, that's it. Enjoy your day. Take care. And I'll catch you again later in the next video.